Well, we are continuing along building out our BIP project, the Backyard Pizza Platform. And what I've done now is I've gone into the pizza order platform and I or table, and I've added a couple of fields here that will help us in terms of querying, especially when it comes to querying live data. Especially when it comes to querying live data, something that maybe our admin or our uh, chef on deck would actually be wanting to see uh, in terms of when was the most recently created pizza because you don't want to have your friends showing up late and getting their pizza first. That's just not going to work. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we've got the created at and updated at columns here added. Uh, additionally, what we're going to add now is we're going to add a constraint for a uh, column uh, on a an enum that's going to allow us to have a couple of states of our pizzas. This will allow myself, as somebody ordering the pizza, to be able to see what like is it baking, is it done, is it ready for me to go and get it. Uh, it'll also allow uh, for my chef to kind of clear his uh, queue, which I guess I'm also the chef. <laughs> All right, uh, to do that, we're going to go ahead and insert a new table here. Let's actually uh, do this through uh, SQL. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say uh, create table. And in this case, what it's going to be called is order status. And that order status is going to only be allowed to have exactly two columns for it to be an enum in the Hasura land. So the first table we're going to go ahead and call value. It needs to be called value. It needs to be text. And that's going to be my primary. Uh, and it's also going to be uh, sorry, primary key. So we're going to go ahead and just call it that. And then on the second column, this is going to be called my comment. Uh, and it needs to be called that as well. And this just allows me to help uh, surface that inside of my GraphQL tooling. OK, uh, this is order status. This is value. This is text. This is primary key. I'm going to go ahead and say track this. And we're going to say this is a migration. And we'll go ahead and call this the adding, uh, yeah, adding order status migration. We'll go ahead and run that. All right, and we have our enum uh, table created. So to make it actually be available as an enum, we need to go to the order status here. Actually, before that, let's go ahead and insert a couple of values uh, into this just so we have them available. So I'm going to go ahead and say uh, insert into order status. And we're going to simply allow uh, maybe two or four. So I'm going to only insert values for now. Uh, and those values, we're going to go ahead and just make them be pretty simple. We're going to use, let's say, I'm going to call the first one uh, as open. The second one is going to be called uh, baking. The third one, we're going to go ahead and call ready. And the last one we're going to go ahead and call gone, <laughs> which it has been eaten and enjoyed by my guests. OK, so we have these uh, statuses here. We're going to go ahead and insert this. We're going to track this as well. Uh, and we're going to go ahead. I'm going to need to track. We're going to go ahead and say that this is a migration because we want to actually keep that, those consistent. So we're going to say that uh, this is the create create order status values. Let's go ahead and run that. And so if we head over to the order status table now, we should see we have all of our uh, stati here. If I go to modify, now I come down to the bottom here. And here I can actually go ahead and turn this on as an enum table. And with that set as an enum table, I can now use this as a guarantee that it's going to be a one of these items. And I will go to my pizza order and I will add an order status here and connect this to my uh, to my order status. So I'm going to go ahead and say order status. And then we're going to go ahead and tell this that this is a text field. And we're going to make that relationship here in just a second. We are going to go ahead and say that this is nullable for now, but we'll change that later to not be nullable. And now we're going to go ahead and associate our foreign key so that we have a we have a connection to this. We have a connection to this uh, table. 
Okay, so we'll do new foreign key, and we're gonna go ahead and say that it references my order status table, and order status has to reference the uh, value from that table, and we will uh, not actually set any cascading uh, updates or deletes. And what I wanna do on my order, my pizza order uh, table here, is I wanna go ahead and actually add uh, some default values when those get created. So on this order status here, the default is always going to be open. And now whenever that gets created, we'll get the, it's basically an open order. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our pizza orders and actually see if we can modify this. Actually, we're gonna do a little bit of GraphQL uh, foolery here. So we're gonna go ahead and say mutation, update uh, update pizza order. Oh, we got our users, we gotta just modify this here. Okay, update pizza order. So where the order status is null. And then we're gonna go ahead and set order status to be open. Uh, I, I can't do a string value, it has to be the enumeration value. There we go. And then we will return the uh, number of uh, items there. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. And what that's gonna do, remove our variables here, run that again. And what that's gonna do is actually go ahead and enforce this to be now available. And so now on pizza order, we can uh, enforce our uh, non-nullable value for order status. So nullable is now set to false. Hit save. And we've updated this table now to support an enum value, uh, as well as having a non-nullable constraint on there and a default value of open. That's gonna do it for this part of the tutorial and we'll be able to see how that comes into play in the next part of the, uh, the next video. See you there.